What's up folks, welcome back to garage. Uh, I'm not happy about the rear in this 145. It has the Racing Divs um, LSD conversion kit, but I haven't been able to adjust uh, especially this left side uh, axle like it should. It keeps a little bit no it's noisy. Um, the brake disc is not in a, a perfect position and uh, the shield, the brake shield is also touching uh, to the brake discs, uh, disc, so it's not the perfect, so I will remove the whole rear and as you can see there's the old, uh, old uh, rear axle on the floor, I will put it that, I will put that on 145, that one has the welded diff, so it's not uh, perfect, but I think it's a good replacement for the time I can fix that one. Volvo is already on the lift. I hope it's this job is a little bit easier on, on the lift. And uh, I have already removed the tires from both sides. I have a clock for you. It's uh, 3.30. Sunday 17th. So you can watch the clock, how long it takes me to take the, <laughs> take the axle off and put the new old one back in. I have two cameras. I have my GoPro on this side and my other phone on this side. So you can watch me working from both sides. I hope I can uh, edit the video quite nicely. <laughs> but now I should have everything ready. I have already my toolbox over there. So I hope it won't take too long to take the, the whole rear off. First I will remove the uh, brake calibers, brake discs, uh, springs and after that I think, well, the drive shaft I have to also open. So there's a few things to do but it shouldn't take too long. But you can watch the time from the clock.
took me about an hour <laughs> and now it's there I managed to get on the on the jack stands and then on the wheels so next I just have to change the place and uh, I will just have to put that old new rear on the jack stands and then I will lower the, the car well this scissor lift is not uh, perfect for this job but I think it helps a lot uh, I'm just learning how to use it correctly <laughs> but it helps um, two pillar lift would be much nicer in this job and um, then I should have the is it gearbox lift or you know that kind of tool that you can uh, lower and raise with the with the pump so it would be much much easier to take those those kind of parts off and put them back on but I don't complain I have a uh, quite good facilities here <laughs> but next I put that back on
it's up there. I just have to finish the job. I have already put my camera stand on there so you can get a nice angle from there. <laughs> no, I'm not uh, in the front of, of the camera so that's that might be a good angle. Uh, everything should be now, all the bolts are there. I just have to make sure that they are tight enough. And uh, for example, I have to attach the the brake line bracket and uh, and the brakes discs so on so there's a few things to do now I have worked here about two hours so I have been uh, quite quick but next I will have a small break and then we will continue few parts left <laughs> everything is almost ready um, I will finish this side as you can see the handbrake mechanism is there ready there's the adjusting screw there which work like a dream <laughs> um, it took me a while to find the new parts because I noticed that in this rear axle this uh, handbrake mechanism this lever is slightly different um, in this uh, axle this lever here is a little bit longer than in that that's uh, quite interesting uh, and uh, first I tried to use this one but then I noticed that I couldn't attach the uh, handbrake cable to this because this was too short and it took me a while to find the parts but luckily I'm a cheap guy that I don't throw <laughs> old parts away so I managed to find the right right parts and these I will put there for the future use but next I will put the brake uh, disc back on caliber make sure everything nuts and uh, bolts are tight and then we take Volvo down and we will take a short test drive it took for a while uh, I don't even remember when I started <laughs> so it took like three or four hours but I had my my dinner in between four and eight so my brakes is also included <laughs> but now it's ready I just low it down and uh, we will do a short test drive I think now the rear will be quite quiet at least it was uh, it's a welded diff so it's not a perfect but uh, it's much much better than the open diff
<laughs> Next, I need a shower. My face looks like I have been doing some car fixing. <laughs> but now the Volvo seems to work okay. Well, the welded diff is not uh, very pleasant to drive because the wheels want to uh, spin same speed. So when I'm turning, you can hear the, the voice. Uh, but I can manage with this uh, diff until I can fix the uh, LSD convert, converted uh, diff. And uh, like I said, I will do a uh, live stream on my Finnish channel, Hans Sintalli, when I'm taking the engine out from this 145, uh, and I will do a video about uh, uh, putting the new engine back in. But hey, thanks for watching. Please give me thumbs up, comments down below. That would be great. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, now it's a perfect time to do that. And also ring the bell. Thanks for watching and see you soon.